I mean, look at me, you're getting into trouble. It might be a lot of fun, but I, I tend to think that women know they're getting into a bit of trouble when they start to fuck with me. Take me home to your father, see what the vibe is. Even if it's just, you know, appearance. I'm a rapper, you know? I wear studded leather jackets, you know what I mean? And rings and have tattoos on my neck. I look like a bit of trouble. The day I made in some trouble, I had my brothers, Nez and Rio, two producers from Chicago, who are the first people who ever made beats for me when I was 15. They live in LA now, they were at the crib. I have a studio in my house in uh, LA, you know, in the basement. There's gigantic windows, it's mad sunshine. You know, I was just feeling that energy. I sent a flight out your way, let me know if you got it. Take you out to the islands, maybe somewhere exotic. I only went on like an island vacation with, uh, with a girl one time. Uh, it was to Jamaica. That was my first time in Jamaica, and that was with uh, my ex-girlfriend, Natalie. I was like 20 years old. Uh, rap had just made me some money for the first time in my life. It was my first time really being anywhere over there like that, and I fell in love with Jerk Chicken, you know what I mean? Shawty backing it up, she dancing like she a Follies. She be sliding and gliding, she got drip on her body. I ain't gonna hold you, I never been to Follies, bro. I just know where it's at, you know, I think. It's in Atlanta, right? You know, I've been to some strip clubs, but shout out to them women picking up that paper at Follies, though. We ain't got time for the lanes, we trying to live in the moment. You know, Chicago, it's always, we call somebody a lane. I know people say that everywhere, but really in Chicago, it's like, boy, you a motherfucking lame. Lame ass, goofy ass. I always been anti-lame. I wasn't really into it, ever. So I'm dipping and dodging lanes. I'm like Neo to these lanes. I'm like bullet time to these lanes, Max Payne to these lanes. What is she talking about? Flower girl, you the coldest. Chop the top off the lotus. Bank account on no limit, cause we so body body. She be sliding and gliding. She got drip on her body. So imagine that iconic photograph of the voluptuous Indian woman in the water wearing the Jamaica shirt. You could probably put that photograph up in the frame when I say it, cause that's, whew, she's so bad. I've been looking for her for 60 years now. She got a nigga at home talking about she a savage. She just dropped me an address, talking about I can have it. Whatever you out here doing, she out here doing the same thing. Niggas be out here scheming, sneaking and geeking, sliming. Really, skeezing on the skeezers. That's how niggas be out here, so don't get it fucked up. She out here probably finessing too. I don't really try to be with niggas' girlfriends, but then I guess I also don't give a fuck if she got a nigga, so I don't know. Off white on the heels with the stripes on the bottom. She be sliding and gliding. She got drip on her body. She get wet like Hawaii, got that Florida water. Back and forth across the border. Louis V like a hoarder. She got baggage, I told her, girl, we all got some mileage. But we just don't care, we just keep it play up. I feel like women will get given different labels based on having been with niggas before than a man. They'll be like, oh, she's a hoe, she's a slut because she's fucked a lot of dudes, but every dude has fucked a lot of girls. It's quite disproportionate. And I'm saying that, like, I don't care, like, how many men you been with or who you been with, like, I'm trying to rock with you right now. Put a little something in the AI, smoking that cushion on La Brea, looking like Princess Leia, lick my light saber, whoa. I've been way up since so straight up, 10 buck two on the fader, outcast in high school, we was bumping, hey ya, now I'm on a whole new wave, I feel like Kelly Slater. I'm a big Johnny Tsunami fan. I fuck with Kelly Slater though, I mean, he's the GOAT when it comes to that surfboard business. Well, I do this wavy shit, like a religion, you know what I'm saying? So you gotta pay homage to the God. Up in the condo, fucking on the elevator. We could keep it low key, take it off the radar. Just book the villa up in the grill, I'll see you in Jamaica. If you feel it, is it love? Or is it lust, love? Do you touch yourself sometimes? Reminisce what never was. But was it ever love? I oftentimes write songs with bridges, man. I feel like bridges are a forgotten art, and I love bridges. I haven't flown any girls out to my crib in LA, but I'm sure some have thought about it. How's my singing voice? See?
See?